Hey guys, welcome back to Unbelievable English. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to play Potion Explosion from Simon Games. And in Potion Explosion, we're students who really want to become wizards. But like every student, we need to pass the test. And today's test is all about making potions. So we're going to be making all the potions we can using our ingredients. And we're going to try to get all of the ingredients we need onto our Bunsen burners. We can ask for help from the teacher. And we're going to make some potions. Okay, guys. So let's talk about the components for our game, Potion of Explosion. The first, the most impressive, the most important is our dispenser. This is called the dispenser because it dispenses, it gives us our ingredients. So we have our dispenser and our ingredients for our potions. We have our ribbons of achievement. And this is in a lot of ways the timing mechanism for the game. This is how we're going to decide when the game ends by collecting those. We have our little bit of help tokens. And we have our potions. So let's talk about the potions. We have the Potion of Wisdom. It's purple. It's got a single ingredient on the neck. And that's because this potion allows you to take one ingredient from the dispenser. But of course, there are no explosions. There's no chain reactions when you do that. Then the next one we have is the Elixir of Blind Love. This allows you to steal all the ingredients from somebody else's flask. That's this over here. We'll talk about that in a minute. Then there is the potion of magnetical attraction. If we were using good English, it would be magnetic attraction, but we're not using good English. The name that the game gives this is magnetical attraction, and that allows you to take two touching ingredients, two adjacent ingredients, of different colors. So you can take the red and the black that are next to each other, adjacent. We've got the Potion of Prismatic Joy. You can place all the ingredients in your flask onto any potions that you have uh, without worrying about their colors. That's really nice. So for example, if I were making this potion, which needs red and yellow ingredients, and I had a blue ingredient in my flask, I could, if I drank the Potion of Prismatic Joy, I could take that blue and put it on the red, or even the yellow, doesn't matter. And that's how that works. So, then we have the Abyssal Draft. The Abyssal Draft lets you take one ingredient of each color from the bottom row in the uh, dispenser. So, for example, if we were to look very closely here, on the bottom of the dispenser right now, there's a yellow, a red, and three blues. That means I could take one yellow, one red, and one of those blues. So the Abyssal Draft lets you take one ingredient of each color from the bottom row of the dispenser if they are there. The Sands of Time lets you reactivate a potion. So if I've already used my Abyssal Draft, well then if I use my Sands of Time, I can use it again. Then I've got my Bomb of Uttermost Stickiness. That's right here. The Bomb of Uttermost Stickiness. Take two or more adjacent ingredients of the same color from the same column, the same slide track of the dispenser. No explosions are triggered. So for example, uh, if as long as they're touching and they're the same color, I can take two or more. So I could take all four of those blacks. One, two, three, four, I could take those if I, if I drank that potion. Or I could take these two reds, I could take these two blues. Uh, so two or more touching of the same color. And then the filter of lava dancing. Discard, throw away, put back in the top here 
up to five ingredients of one color from the same slide track, from the same column of the dispenser. Uh, and of course, no explosions are triggered. So again, let's use that black for an example. If I wanted to, I could take all four of these blacks. There's four and one more. And then I could just let them go back up into the dispenser like that. That's what that means. The potion of lava Nancy. All right, so that describes the potions. The player board here is your desk at the academy. And you have two Bunsen burners where you're going to be trying to create your potions. And you've got one flask, one space for extra ingredients that you can place there. So that's your player board. We've already talked about these reward tokens, and we've already discussed the fact that you get these when you have three of the same type of potion or five different potions. You'll get one of these. So every time you make a set of five, you get one of these. And if you have three of the same, you can get one of these. It's really important. If you have your set of three, you can't use one of those towards the five, that doesn't work. So for example, if I have three potions of prismatic joy and I got a ribbon for that, then I cannot use one of these towards a set of five here. That wouldn't work, I can't do that. I have to get that fifth one from somewhere else. And the last thing we're going to look at very quickly is the little bit of help tokens. And during your turn, you can take a little bit of help token. You'll notice that that loses two points at the end of the game. But what it does is it allows you to take one more ingredient from the dispenser. If you take one more ingredient, you don't get any um, explosions. You don't get any chain reactions, but you can get one more for the low, low price of two points at the end of the game. And those are all of the components for this game. All right, guys, so we've got a game set up. Baby Cat, Baby Spidey, and Baby Thanos are all ready to go. And let's briefly go over the rules of, of how a turn would go. So Baby Cat is going first, and the first thing he's going to do is he's going to choose one ingredient to take from the dispenser. So he's going to look at what he has here. Now he's already finished one of his potions. He's got a potion of wisdom here. That's going to give him five points at the end of the game. And he needs black, yellow, red, and blue. He needs a little bit of everything. So he's going to look at the dispenser and he is going to choose one black uh, ingredient. So he's taking one black ingredient and then two of the blue marbles crashed into each other when he took that black one and that means he gets to take those as well during his turn. So now he's got two blue ingredients, one black ingredient. He's going to put those in his potions and he's got one blue ingredient left. It doesn't fit anywhere so he can put that in his flask and save it for later. So then he's going to say, it's your turn, and it's Baby Thanos' turn. Baby Thanos has two finished potions. He's drank one of them. He drank the, um, uh, the Lava Mancy potion, the potion of Lava Mancy. He's got another potion of Lava Mancy here, and he needs blue, black, and yellow. And he's going to look, and he's going to try to find a good combination. So he's going to take this black marble. He's taking this black marble, which causes the two blues to crash together. And once he took those blues, the yellow crashed into the red, but we only get the chain reactions when the same colors crash into each other. So yellow into red is not a chain reaction that is going to work for us. And Baby Thanos is going to put his black and two blue ingredients into his potion, just like that. And then it's going to be Baby Spidey's turn. 
and he needs black, red, and yellow. He's already uh, finished and and he's already had one of his potions. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you drink it or not. He'll still get eight points for that potion at the end of the game. And Baby Spidey needs black, red, and yellow. So let's see. Oh, this is perfect. Baby Spidey is going to take this red marble. And that's going to cause those two black marbles to crash together. And that's a chain reaction. So he gets those. And then watch this. Those two yellows are going to crash together as well. So he gets those as well. And then the black into the red doesn't matter. So he's got a bunch of good ingredients there. And he's actually going to be able to finish. No, he's not. He needs a lot more yellow. I wasn't paying attention. So he got really close to finishing his potion. And then it's going to be Cap's turn. Spidey says, it's your turn. And Cap needs red, yellow, and a little bit of black. And Cap is going to take this blue marble. He doesn't need blue, but all of those yellows are going to crash together. And he likes that. So he's taking all of the yellows. He'll put three yellow ingredients into his potion. And he's got two left over that don't fit anywhere. He'll put those into his um, flask. And he's actually going to drink his potion of wisdom, which will let him take one marble. And he's going to take this black marble right here because he wants to finish this potion. So Cat finished the potion. He's going to return all the marbles from the potion to the dispenser. And if any are, are left sitting up like that, he puts them away. He'll put that up here to show that he finished it. And then he gets to choose a new one. And whenever you choose a new one, that is the end of your turn. So Cap has blues and yellows here. He's going to choose this potion. But he can't move anything over from the flask to the uh, potion until his next turn. That Those have to stay there. And he's going to say, it's your turn to Baby Thanos. Baby Thanos needs black, blue, and yellow. Baby Thanos really wants to get a yellow. So let's see. This is perfect. Baby Thanos is going to take this yellow uh, marble, which is going to cause those two blues to crash together. So he gets those, and that's his turn. He's going to put his yellow there and his blues into this potion here. And Baby Thanos has finished a potion. And Baby Thanos has finished his third potion of Lava Mancy, which means that he is going to get a ribbon of achievement. He's going to get one of these skill tokens. And that's an extra four points for him at the end of the game. He cannot use these three uh, potions for to get another skill he's, uh, skill token. He's going to have to do, he's going to have to get three more or five different ones. And he's going to choose one more. And then let's have Baby Spidey have one last turn. And then we'll end our demonstration here. Baby Spidey is going to... Boy, Baby Spidey doesn't have any good combinations here for him. He's going to take this red. And that's going to cause those blacks to crash together. So he's going to take all four of those blacks as well. Now, you can't take any ingredient that's sitting kind of halfway under the dispenser here. They have to be all the way out. But if the chain reaction brings them down, then that's okay. So... Baby Spidey's going to add these to these four ingredients, these three black and one red ingredients to his potion. He's going to have one black left over. He can put that in his flask. And Baby Spidey decides that he wants a little bit of help from the teacher. So he's going to lose two points at the end of the game. But he gets to take one extra ingredient. He wants that red ingredient. He'll take this one. So he's taking the red ingredient with his little bit of help. That caused the chain reaction. These blues all crash together, but he does not get to take it because he got that red using his little bit of help token. And when we use that little bit of help, we do... Oop! we use that little bit of help, we do not get to get any chain reaction. So he'll finish his uh, Potion of Prismatic Joy.
and he'll finish that. And before he chooses a new one, I think he's going to drink that Potion of Prismatic Joy, just so he can show you that when you drink the Potion of Prismatic Joy, you can take any ingredients in your flask and to add it to a potion no matter what the color is. So he's going to put that black on a yellow there, like that. Then he'll choose a new potion. And that's the end of his turn. And that's where we're going to end the game. All right, guys. Thank you. See you later at Unbelievable.